Arma 3 with a controller. Yeah, you might want to grab some popcorn for this one, because uh, this, <laughs> this might take a little bit of time. This profile is pretty much the... <laughs> this is the culmination of everything that I have ever learned in Xpatter. You know, all the tricks that I know, I had to put them in here just to get this game working. But, let, yeah, let's get into it. Enough talking. So, okay, we got basic movement. Forward on the stick. Normal run, all the way forward. Sprint. That is... Oh, let me show you. That's, uh... So we go over to jog sprint. In the advanced, click on advanced. You can see I have normal forward. 99% more on the stick is W plus shift for sprint. Tap bumper changes your view. Hold bumper is free look. Hold that in, look around. Left bumper is always going to be my modifier. You can see when I hold that in, that goes to actions, and pretty much everything up there changes. So we'll go over that in a little bit. The right stick click is for your stance. Tap it to go down to a crouch, tap again to go up. Hold it, like mid hold, not a long hold. That'll be prone. Now hold it down continuously. That's stance, stance adjust. You know, so you can go <laughs> pretty much all over the goddamn place. Ah, oh, that's so cool looking. My favorite. <laughs> it's the, the old butt crawl. Yeah, that's holding in for stance adjustment. Okay, let's go back to first person. So speaking of stance, we have the lean. Lean is going to be on the modifier. I hold in the modifier, and then that's left or right on the stick. A lean. Now go all the way, and then you're walking. So you can check around corners. Uh, trigger, left trigger is uh, zoom in, tap left trigger to go ADS, aim down sights. Now to change my scope mode, tap the trigger while holding in that stance modifier which is just bound to left control. So I click that and I can go through my different, different uh, scope optics. Right on the D-pad, we'll be changing my fire mode. You can see up there in the corner between auto, single. Hold right on the D-pad. That is changing my throwable. You can see uh, green light, grenade, white smoke. Now to throw that, I will hold left stick click. Tap on the left stick, that's going to change my combat stance. Weapon down. So I tap it to go back up, hold it, throw. And that's kind of, that's following, a lot of this is actually following my day Z approach. I'm trying to keep it as context sensitive as I can, where things seem to make sense. So yeah, I tap it, weapon down, weapon up, hold it, throwable, left stick click. So throws, weapon up, stance, adjustments, on there. Left on the D-pad. Night vision. Ah, I'm blind! Hold it will be... actually... I don't have binoculars. Well, I can show you that. I tap B or... it doesn't matter what controller you use. Anything mapped into x pad is gonna work. Tap B for the inventory. Grab the binoculars. Put them up there. So left on the D-pad is night vision. Hold it for binoculars. So that is a, a tap and a hold. Tap and a hold. 
you go into advanced, you can see how it's mapped out. It's going to be a tap for night vision, hold it, will be uh, binoculars or range finder, you know, like whatever was mapped to the B. Uh, you can adjust the times. You just always want the green time to be higher than the yellow one. But you can extend, like actually, let me show you. Bum, 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 bum. In the stance, if we go into advanced, you can see I have three different things are mapped here. And I'm cha I made that a little bit longer because I wanted to make sure you're intentionally wanting that control instead of, I wanted to go prone, but I'm holding control. So there's a little bit longer of a delay. The up and down on the D-pad will be the mouse wheel. If I wanted to cancel that, or if I wanted to select what's there, A is select. But if I wanted to put that interactive menu away, I hold A, and that cancels it. X or square will be reload. Tap it to reload. Hold it will be a switch quick to your sidearm. B is inventory on tap. If you hold that, that will be uh, voice communication. Triangle is the vault. LB bumper is a modifier. When I hold in LB bumper, that has the lean, which I already showed you. The D-pad is uh, left will be for targeting. That's more like if you're using a, the laser targeter. T. Um, right on the D-pad. Hold it for compass. Tap it is supposed to be GPS. Do I not have GPS? Oh well. See, there's so much, there's so much even in my testing environment. Oh, I failed. Uh, it's it's all over. Just stop watching. It's not worth it. Well, anyways, tap right. That would bring up the uh, window right here. The GPS window if I had it armed. Select. Well, on the default, select is going to go to a vehicle layout. That's We're going to go over that later. But I hold in the modifier. Select is uh, my command ring. So then I can... Uh... Two, move right. On the way. Standing by. You know, issue basic command. I mean, obviously, there are limitations to this profile. I cannot get that full command system in here. I just wanted to at least get some of it in there, so you could at least, like, order somebody out of a vehicle. Or just have them run around in circles. Two, driver, get in that vehicle. Understood. Standing by. <laughs> Make him drive the cart. No, get out of my... That's my golf cart. Get the hell out. Two, disembark. Solid copy. So, okay, that's modifier in select. So, say I brought that up. I want it gone. Well, again, that's... Cancel. Hold it in. Goes away. Up and down is for scopes. So let's change my scope on the gun. And if some of this seems a little... You know, you're watching this like, oh boy, his cursor's all over the place. He's not very good with a controller. Yeah, that's because I'm playing in a weird-ass position right now. I'm all twisted sideways, trying to tilt my head into the microphone. I have fucking lights shining on me. This is not, not the way I would normally be playing, so... Ease up off my ass with that crap. So when I hold in the modifier, you can see 600, 700, 800 meters, that's my zeroing in for the scope. And hold it would be... Zoom it. Hold it down, zoom back out. What are you doing in my field? Oh, you lucky son of a bitch. <sighs> Can I even kill a rabbit? Oh. <sighs> You're just looking at me because you know I can't hit you because I suck with a gun. I'm just not very good with sniper rifles yet. I'm not very good with much in this game. This game is... Fantastic at making you feel incompetent. I, 
<laughs> I have noticed that. So okay, we have, what else is in here? In the modifier that we need to go over. Objective on the start. Oh, and on the default, you know, pause, hold it. It's gonna bring up your map. Hold it again to close the map. Okay, so if you wanted to dive or surface, hold in the modifier. You know, up and down is the same until you go all the way. So push it all the way at the range. I go down, all the way up. I'm going to surface. What that was doing is go over to actions, go into advanced. You can see I still have a uh, mouse cursor, mouse direction up is still looking, and then past 90%, it's X to uh, surface. Hold in the modifier, click the right stick, sit down, click the uh, left stick to salute. And now on that, that something weird was happening. That might just be on my end. I don't know. I had to go in for salute. Default is that, and I tried to, I mapped that into X powder, but it wasn't recognizing it. So I assigned it to bracket. But you can see, just for, you know, it shouldn't really affect anything for you unless you had something assigned to that bracket. And yeah, that was not registering. I don't know. I don't know if it's because up here it's showing that that is a backslash UK, US, use pound. I don't, maybe it's just this keyboard is a little limited. So anyways, I just assigned it to both. Uh, I think I need a break. So I will be back and I'm going to show you the vehicle stuff. Huh. Boy, that was, that was a long break. It's nighttime. Okay. It's... It's let's go let's go over vehicles. Whew, this is exhausting. So much vehicles. I'm gonna go into as driver. I want my golf cart. So for vehicles, the main see I wanted I mean that's that is bullshit. I'm not gonna push up on the stick for gas. No way. I want triggers for gas, but right now they're not gonna do that. So click select see up in the X-Powder window, that takes me into vehicle set. Now that is going to stay locked in, so when you get out of a vehicle, you need to click select again. You will be stuck. I can show you, like, I get out here, I'm still in that vehicle set, and the controls are all freaking crazy. Like, trigger is run. Whoa, what the hell? So I would need to go back to my click select, go back to my default. So, okay, get in, hit select, go to my vehicle set. Trigger is gas, slow forward, forward, and then forward plus sprint. So you have it all mapped up there. Brake is reverse. Now, one thing you might notice in a land vehicle is this stick. When I slightly push it, nothing's happening. That's, that is going to come into play when we're in a helicopter or airplane. So you just need to push it all the way to look around. Up and down is the same. But left and right, you just need to push a little bit further. Y is lights. Or hold it to get out. Eject. Uh, X square is going to be emergency brake. up, right stick, click, is the horn, and then uh, left stick, click, is the zoom in, which had been on the trigger for the default, that's basically from the default set, the triggers have been remapped to clicks, so I could have the triggers be gas and brake, which as far as the game is concerned is forward and backwards. So that, you know, hopefully that makes sense. This is where the bumpers come into play. Tap it, it's still your view. Hold it. 
It's gonna start the engine. Let me wait for that to rev up. Okay, now hold the bumper to raise elevation. Hold the left bumper to lower elevation. And then this is also where the lean comes in on that stick. Ooh, look at that. Rotate left and right, and then I hold in the stick. That would be the look. And then the left stick is all the basic movements. You, know, you don't have to use the triggers. That's really just for land vehicles, because I wanted the, the gas and brake on the triggers. X, or square on the PlayStation controller, will be auto hover. So you zoom in. Zoom in and fire. Fire mode is still the D pad. Up on the D pad, holding it is the zoom. Tap for, you know, basic stuff. If you don't want to hit the lights, you can still do it from the menu. Hold it to cancel that out. Now X is... Oops. X is in there for submarines. So that would be so you can raise up because it's a different command. Because of course, you know, they wouldn't want things to make sense. So you have to use a different button for up when you're in a submarine as opposed to up when you're in a helicopter or airplane. But that, yeah, that, that covers it. That is my Expatter Arma 3 profile comprehensive fucking exhaustive look and an Expatter tutorial showing you how I do it all. But I hope you enjoyed this. I figure this is probably the one video where it's okay for me to go a bit longer. I mean, people know. Let me get back to my default. People know this game is complicated, so I'm assuming you're expecting a complicated examination, explanation, demonstration of playing it with a controller. So, all right, that's it. Now what do I do? Now I guess I can actually start playing the game.